it's Josh with Bain Tech. I've got the X-Protect iPhone case for the iPhone 4 and the 4S. It's extreme impact protection made by G-Form. Uh, they put a lot of cool technology within the case. Uh, they have what they call RPT, which is reactive protection technology. Um, basically, what that means in a nutshell is that um, when the phone drops, 90% to 94% of the impact is absorbed through the case. And so much of the impact is not going to be um, there's not going to have much damage to the phone or it's going to absorb most of the impact so if you fret over dropping your phone or if you're clumsy or if you just tend to drop phones a lot you're going to be protected with this kind of case and um, it's got a neat little feel to it uh, so let's go ahead and get it on uh, right off the bat you're going to notice that the texture is uh, kind of got that foam kind of texture with the inner part that kind of protrudes through the, the skeleton. The skeleton here is kind of like a it's a flexible harder rubber type plastic and that's going to be the frame of the case and you're going to have your cutouts, your buttons for your volume up top you got a cutout for your headphone jack and then a indentation for your power button and as you go around you just notice more of the foam sticking out and then you got your cutouts for your USB port, your charger connection and also your speakers at the bottom and so on the inside of the case you have some information about the case you got a G form and the link to their website and then also on the back you're going to have the preferred method of installation um, basically you just start at the top and ease it on down and I'll show you that in a second and back here on the on the main case you got some information about the X-Protect iPhone case and up top it says it absorbed 94 percent of the impact with this case you got yourself a QR code to scan so if you want to scan that I'll give you a second it retails for about $39.99 and you can get it at Wiregrass Technologies if you're in the Dothan, Alabama area. Uh, it's the only place in the Wiregrass, the only store in the Wiregrass that carries this kind of case. So go ahead and pick it up from Wiregrass Technologies and check out their website for more um, features that they offer. Uh, but back to the case, um, on the inside here it's got a felt type of texture and you got a little bit more information it's the extreme impact protection G form again you got your link and just a little bit more detail but uh, it feels good uh, what I like about when cases put this kind of material on the inside of the phone you can rest assured that it's not going to get scratched um, it's got a nice soft surface to the back of the phone so you don't have to worry about any you know, scratches, scrapes, or dents because of that But as that diagram shows, you're going to want to start at the top, make sure you got it in there nicely, and just kind of work your way down and around it. With any kind of case that's like a snap-on or one that you're going to slide on in, you're going to want to work your way around the whole border just to ensure that it's nice and snug. And so let's go ahead and get a little bit closer, get some more detail. Uh, one of the things that stands out the most to me with this case is that the corners are fully protected. They got a nice cushion on each side, each corner. And what that's going to help with is um, if you've ever noticed a phone drop, you know, a lot of times you're not going to see it drop flat on the fronts. A lot of times it's going to hit a corner. And so it, it's nice that they thought about that, that if you drop a phone, most likely it's going to drop on the corner. Um, and so you're pretty well protected there. Um, here on the back, you got a lot more uh, cushion and protection. Um, it's real squishy, but hard at the same time. And it's the same on the sides. So all the way around, you got a lot of protection. Here on the front, um, some of the things that uh, I like to look for in a case is how far raised above the phone 
um, is the case. And here on the side, it's got a nice rise to it. So what that does is if the phone actually does end up dropping on the front, um, you're going to be protected. It's going to be a lot more protection because uh, sometimes when you drop it on a surface, it's not a flat surface like a desk or a tile floor or so forth. Uh, you might be out, uh, out on the concrete or on a, a trail or something and you got rocks and pebbles and you know of course a pebble is going to be above the ground and so you know if you drop it down flat on the face of the phone um, you can get some damage that way so you got some little air pocket there in case that happens and that's a nice little detail that they put in there um, as far as the cutouts and the ports uh, they're all pretty accessible they're easy to use the vibration button here uh, you can just reach on inside and switch it on and off with ease the volume rocker the buttons are pressed pretty easy not much extra effort as if the case was not on down here at the bottom your cutout for the USB port and your speakers they're good um, you're not having any interference with that and I would be safe to assume that you could put this on a dock without a problem um, the case is skinny enough to where it would probably not get in the way of most of those kind of accessories or devices speakers and so forth um, and up here at the top same as the volume rocker the power button is pressed pretty easily uh, no interference there and it looks like the headphone jack is going to be good with any kind of uh, shape headphone jack whether it's the L shape or the straight jack you're going to be good. Here on the back uh, you got your camera cutout and one of the things I like to point out about camera cutouts is that um, they've got to put some detail and attention to that because if the wall of the cutout is too close and if they don't put any kind of different material within the wall the, when the flash goes off it's going to distort the picture some so with this particular cutout it's wider than the normal cutout that I've seen but you're not going to have the interference with the flash so you're still going to get those good pictures. Uh, you get a little bit of detail with their logo with the G form here on the middle but overall the case it feels good in the hand uh, one of the things I like to point out uh, it doesn't feel like it's going to slip out of your hand uh, you get, it's got a nice kind of grip to it uh, it's going to slide in and out of your pocket pretty easily this um, material the foam it's not like a silicone it's a smooth feel so it's going to go in and out of your pockets well um, and it's overall going to give you a, a lot of protection and a, not a lot of bulk it's got a little bit of bulk to it but it's not that bad um, I'd say it's probably skinnier or the same size as what our OtterBox could be but it's going to provide you pretty good protection with mostly just drops and um, scratches and so forth Overall, it's a good case. I would recommend it for anybody that's going to be dropping your phone a lot um, or you just want that extra protection. Uh, something to think about. Um, you know, this case retails for $39.99, but it could be a good investment. Um, even if you do have insurance on your phone, you would still most likely have to cough up about $150 or so forth to replace a phone. And if you don't have insurance, you know, that could price could jump up all the way to about $400 for a brand new phone. So some things to think about when you're buying a case, you want to get something that's going to protect your phone well. And this is going to be a good case for that purpose. All right, this is Josh with Bain Tech. Uh, check us out at Bain-Tech.com. Find us on Facebook, Bain Tech USA. Find us on Twitter uh, at Bain Tech. And also go ahead and check out Wildgrass Technologies. Uh, it's a brand new business located in Dothan, Alabama. You can find them on Facebook as well at Wildgrass Technologies. This is Josh DeBain Tech. I'll see you in the next video.